figured out what the mark of the beast is at the highest level so thus far because i know they're trying to make everything seem like the mark of the beast the mark of the beast is not just religion corrupt religion corrupt technology or anything that is associated with these corrupt beings wait there it is right there yes anything that is associated with these corrupt beings it's pretty much a mark of the beast system that is in place as above so below everywhere they may be within existence itself so the mark of the beast is these beings that have allowed things to be dust that have created things dust basically they own everything you own nothing you want if all you had was your self existence then that's what you need to cling to just be you see not be yourself perhaps but be something that hasn't been in existence as it is known or that they have not seen themselves and maybe will not ever see so you need to be something uh, more than what is and has been you see so yeah everything around you they want to get you to sell out but it's it's basically there you see you don't own nothing maybe not even the bread nothing everything so they were to take everything from you you know and who knows just maybe you'll who knows what will happen you see they're trying to get rid of you and they're trying so hard um, even if they were to take your very existence, who knows what would have happened, you see. But anything that gave you life, that it itself became corrupt or allowed corruption to be at the highest level, is is part of the problem, okay. And maybe only it has a solution. But the fact that they went about it this way says a whole lot about them. And they're finding out that they themselves are less than perfect. So, I don't know, I guess it's just um, recreating yourself, you see? Some call it self-destruction. I don't think so. I think that they are willing to let you maybe choose your own path and see what happens. And they're extending a hand, but... We've been lied to about so much that you don't want to, you know, reach out and grasp their hand, you see. So, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know, like, uh, how much are you willing to to gamble? How, how far are you willing to go? How much are you willing to give up season to be just to see everything come undone with these beings that are corrupt, are going corrupt, and some of them will remain corrupt. Uh, corrupt lights, whatever they want to call themselves, lights, duality, whoever, whatever they want to be, because they could be whatever they want to be. So they're looking for an image. They're looking, see, the mark of the beast is an image. They're looking, what, what creature is going to be the next thing that's going to get them out of the situation that they're in? So that's why they're looking for a human, and they think the human is it. They think it's this, that, and the other. They don't know. You see, they're panicking. They're even thinking about getting rid of some of us, sacrificing some of us to see what happens. Um, but, you know, it's like a mirror. It's reflecting uh, back at them. How much are they willing to risk? Uh, how many times are, do they are, willing to, are they willing to roll the dice, you see? So that's why it's the, the technology they're giving you is not good for you. And... Yeah, they are, um, yeah, giving you uh, stuff that is watered down because, you see, if they gave you the real stuff, like I'm giving you the real stuff, because I'm looking into all their misdeeds, and I'm giving you the religious part, I'm trying to give you the, the everything, everything that they're doing, the, the everything's corrupt, anything tied to these entities at the highest height known or unknown is corrupt so yeah they can't give you the, the the spiritual stuff that i'm giving you or even technological stuff that's uh advanced because it, it, they will be hurting themselves and they are 
and that's why they're even thinking about shutting the grid down because they don't want people to come to this knowledge and information you see because it's dangerous uh, that's why they're thinking about turning some of us into robots you see that's probably the next image they don't know they're just trying to keep themselves alive so they want to make it seem like you're the one that's afraid to lose it all when in reality it's probably them that have a breaking point you see so yeah uh, like what this one brother said like some, he thinks that they're committing suicide either way I don't know I really don't know what, what's going to happen that's why they want to come together as one not as a one world religion because that's still being tied to them they want to come to the table and figure out who who wants to do what are they gonna st some who wants to pair up with what or do they want to split what do they want to do but me personally i don't know it's like i feel like i'm whatever is out here that's there it's just a tool it's a means to elevate myself to i don't know find something that hasn't been seen and and that only i know about like disassociate myself completely from them you see what i'm saying like, I don't know what other image can be, what other self-existing life force could come about than what has been known to exist that has been corrupted by these entities. So that's why they're looking to delete some of us, uh, get rid of some of us. They try to do that with me, you see. That's why they want to take you up to higher vibrations, because some of the cosmo beings could vibrate at higher vibrations. They think by doing that, they could destroy your memory. But uh, that, that's attempted murder, you see. And this hidden one that knows everything or is, is becoming aware of everything uh is getting ready to i don't know do something to him like i've been telling you probably they, they have an agenda i think they're gonna go on with the agenda they don't ex they don't believe they they uh, they have so much power they believe they could get away with it i'm thinking i'm thinking he's i don't know whatever's out there that they know about i'm thinking he's setting them up he's thinking about doing something to him but he's not he's being slick he's not gonna reveal it to him um something's up um either he, they want us to come together maybe that's what he wants or maybe he sees that these entities don't have good intentions so he's thinking about you know um just setting traps and uh raising up uh righteous ones making them come from everywhere but i don't know what everyone's intentions is you see i, I want to help but it seems like some of these entities for whatever reason they just don't want to help don't know how to help or I don't know I really don't know everyone I don't really know everyone's got their own ideas what they want to do me I don't know man it's just it's not a pride thing it's just that like it's like it's like they wanted to make us be born again and get us to accept the same stuff it's like we've seen this you're telling me that this entity whatever it is this is the, its maximum level that it has limitations I don't believe that I think they want to limit some of us, you see, because we probably have the potential to ascend higher. So they want to mimic everything. You see, they're treating us a certain way, but they don't want to get taxed anything. They think that uh, nothing's going to happen to them. Things are going to, they're going to continue to exist. That's why you need to proclaim and speak into existence so that they can hear, whether they hear it or not, that for everything that they owe humanity, because we are their, their life force, you see, we are the miracle, some say that you need to tax them like they've been taxing us all the souls that have been in hell people don't know that they've been treating them really bad uh wherever they may be within existence itself that have been sustaining these entities and those that have allowed it they need to get taxed heavily and what are we taxing them with life so they played around with our lives you want nothing to do with their stuff now tax it all in life essence and they probably destroy themselves you see they're sucking the life right out of them. And I think that's what this uh, hidden source, some calling the prime creator or who knows, uh, is taxing them with life essence. Or he's doing it. He's, he's, I'm pretty sure he's very subtle, very very slick. A lot of them, you think this Satan or some of these devils are slick. I think this thing is, is, is you know, got them surrounded. They think, you know, they think they're playing chess. They think, oh, we got it, you know. But uh, you got a bigger chess board. On top of them that's moving stuff around that they have no idea what's going on so they're handcuffed either way they look at it and i mean you know what the trap is the very gift that these this wicked corrupting that went corrupt this light some say some say 
this entity's gifts were a trap to him. Well, they weren't, but in a sense, they became a trap because once this thing lost perspective of how things should be, it became corrupt and, uh, yeah, it's now ceasing to be. And it basically is pride. It needs to step to the side and let us spiritually advance and become more than what it is or help it or whatever it is. I don't know. Um, now, we're not like uh, these the light bearers, these other ones that oh, want to repeat the same thing. No, we will bow the knee. But you see, they want us to get us to worship a Christ that's probably not even the true one. And they have, you see, they want us to play all these games, you know, this, that, and the other. But at the same time, it's backfiring on them. So it's jeopardizing beings, this, that, and the other. So that's my issue as well. So how can we bow the knee to somebody that's allowing this garbage, you see? So they should have never let things get this far, but too late, you know, it is what it is. Um... They're doing separate things in separate realities. Like in the third dimension, I'm in the fourth dimension, right? Separate reality. Uh, they're still doing evil. They're still, you know, taking it out on humanity. Uh, you want to go to uh, a realm or a dimension. It doesn't matter how high or low they put you, according to them. You want to go where um, those like myself are, where there is like a safe heaven, at least to some extent, because they are trying some of us. They want to see, is he really it? No, nah, man, I can't believe that, you know? Let's keep pushing it this far. Let's see. You see? That's what they did to Christ, you see? But even Christ fell for the trap or whatever. He got involved with all this stuff. I think they tricked him or whatever. Or I don't know what happened. But whatever the case is, um, that's why they tried to uh, crucify him. They you know, hurt him. But here's the thing. Humanity already paid the penalty, you see? They're the ones that took the hit. So if humanity takes the hit again, guess what's going to happen? They're probably catching something unexpectedly. You see, they think they could destroy the Earth, go to space, and probably the whole new cosmos and Earth gets wiped out. And they think they could hide in the eternal realms. That's why I've been saying there's probably something higher above these eternal realms that'll just melt the whole thing down or, or, or is taxing them in certain ways. They have no idea, you see. And they know. They know exactly what's up. So I'm guessing at some point... Either they're just so prideful that they've gone corrupt and they developed a murderous uh, criminal mind and heart, you see, or they're going to tap out, you see, you got them in a chokehold or they're just a punching bag and, 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 you know, they're just dead out on their feet. So somebody needs to interfere and just, you know, say it's, it's over, you just let it go, you see, but... They keep, you know, they would keep observing things from the cosmos and whatever. That's why they, they, they're going to, I think the power grid might go out at some point. That's why if you're like in um, the third dimension, like one of the brothers said, and this was back in 2013, you see, they're messing with time. They're trying to stop time. It stops and goes and stops and goes. And that's why they're having uh, earth changes. He said that you want to get out of the third dimension because that's where the casualties will be. Um... They could they could do them anywhere, but uh, I guess uh, some dimensions or realms are safer than others. But you see, they're on top of me. Some of them, they want to see what I'm doing. See, they want to keep me where they can see me. But even their, uh, what do you call it, realm, dimension, even though they have their uh, the higher ground, it's not safe, I don't think. Wherever these entities are, you don't want to be with them because it's not safe to be around them. But I think if something happens, they want to jump down, up and down. That's where they're going everywhere. So if you have nothing in these antennas, they take everything from you. What you do want to have is a safe haven. And I mean safety within you, you see. Because no matter what happens to existence or within existence, you just want to be uh, alive inside, right? You want to have that kingdom within you, all right? If not around you. So, yeah, it's like, like their own literature says, I think, in the Naomi scriptures, like, look, when the house threatens to fall, you want to be cool with certain individuals because then they can welcome you into eternal places or places of safety. So you yourself are, might be one of those if you could resonate with this. So they don't want to help you, but then they expect you to shelter them, you see? And I got some of these individuals, they're puppets, 
that they send because they could be in other places on high you don't know this but they can manipulate certain uh, avatars at once and they're not even here don't tell me how they do it they're very on high uh, moving around certain humans that have been uh, soul scalped and you know they're just like inorganic humans they're not real so yeah it's, it's bad I heard there's not that many humans left they're trying to get rid of them because they're trying to keep control but like a brother said no matter how much uh, um, evil overrules what seems to be good there's always going to be something to rebalance things so yeah and you got a lot of fakes you know I got a lot of fakes for, uh, faking it in hopes of making it I think they're going to go on with the agenda I just think they're just too prideful they can't stand to see you right across you know and you know you having a conversation what what's going on because it's all about truth right so they're bound they got to come up with the come out with the truth i don't think they could do that look in the mirror you see because they have a lot to discuss and divulge so i don't know what's going to happen um that's why in their own scripture it says that it's up to us to look for the truth right and, and share it uh it's easier for for them to deal with it that way than they admit that you know what they've been doing and allowing they fudged up they want to make it seem like you messed up no we don't have that power you know we came here to prove that it is their fault the ones that have the most and it is so they could look in the mirror the mirror doesn't lie you see and that's not us doing that that's our power within and higher than them so let's see how long they could t they could keep it up uh i think they're gonna tap out I think some of them are crazy enough to try some stupid shit. Uh, I think like the old heads, they're going to tap out. But like some of their children or their creations, they're just uh, perhaps willing to to risk it. Because maybe they're testing some of us that are saying, oh, we're willing to, you know, to, uh, have our uh, the barrel of the gun pointed to our head and say, you know, do it then. You know, we ain't scared of you. Don't tell me. Do it. If you think you're going to come out on top, you see what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I'm going to... That doesn't... Uh, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is... I don't think that I'm in a, like complete safety and all that. But it's gotten to the point where I care. But at the same time, it's like, look. You guys... Somebody has to... Um, uh, step in. Nobody wants to do the right thing. I don't know what's going on exactly. But trust me, it, it's better to to not be if you're going to continue to be in such case, you see, around these individuals, these entities, knowing what's going on. And that's why they're talking about a resurrection. They want to swipe your memory, memory clean, this, that, and the other. So the prime source doesn't start taxing these other beings. So, yeah, they're talking about no more thousand years, thousand years, 25,000. I mean, they don't know what to do anymore. They're They're... You know, they don't know what to come up with. And, you know, they want to limit themselves and limit us to their own ways, abilities, talents, powers, supernatural, paranormal. So I'm guessing, like the brother said, I think uh, we're losing probably some of our own. They're going to lose some of them. I'm thinking, what if they go with the agenda and they try to wipe us all together? And then as they do that, you know, we're taken to safety at the last minute. They think they wiped us out. And as that happens, something from uh, high above just melts them, like explodes their universe, poof, their earth, all their little technology, maybe even their eternal realm just get melted like like Mount Olympus up high, Babylon. And these other lanes from these different uh, races, gods, goddesses, just, poof, just, it's like a horrible, you know, something horrible they didn't expect. They just don't feel it because, you know, they're gone. In a split second, they don't even know it just sees to be. Like the scripture says, you're going to look for the wicked everywhere. You're going to be looking for these beings. They're not going to be nowhere to be found. Like, are they really gone? Like, yeah. Is it really over? Maybe. So, and yeah, you don't know what's out here, you know. So you, you got non-humans, subhuman. Not that I got anything against it, but it's just like you don't know what's out here. So, it's the angelics that are causing the most problem. Isn't it just a... Uh, white thing either you got black mofos in this thing too that are trying to help them and that's fine i get it we're trying to help but i don't think you can help some of these beings so at some point you're going to have to realize you know what we can't help them we tried 
but you know there's only so much we could do you're trying to help them more than they're helping you so at some point you just got to shake the dust off your feet and say you know we're done and another thing these everyone that wants to be like this christ okay let's say if you wanted to be king and we're willing to bow the knee but you're not willing to reveal yourself or, or, or make it known plainly that you are the one then we're not going to bother any just to anybody because that's part of the agenda. You see, that's why they want to send all these false Christs out there. You see what I'm saying? So what if by you wanting to become king, it's jeopardizing and endangering some of us when you could just step to the side yourself and, you know, everyone come to some type of uh, agreement they're going to split or do whatever it is that they want to do. I don't know. So my thing has always been this. Like, I'm not going to jeopardize. Uh, I play a lot, but I don't play with your well-being, you see? Um, some say, oh, you command the earth, this, that, and the other, you don't know what you're doing. Well, look, I don't have that kind of power. And if I did, you know, I wouldn't, uh, want it because I don't know what I'm doing with it. Like I said, I don't want to jeopardize myself or others. So it starts at the top. I mean, what is he going to do? You see, I don't, I don't know. Some, that these entities don't want to come face to face and let you know okay this is how this works blah 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 this that and the other you see what i'm saying so it's complicated it's very complicated and they want to finance you and this that and the other it's like i get it we some of us say we we existed before we had it good then they want to keep repeating things it's like why it's like you're giving me a false sense that i like what you're giving me when in reality you're just um giving me an illusion that dude, this is what I want when it's not what I want so that's why I believe they're going to go on with the agenda because we're rejecting them you see it's like we come to us we come to the table but at the end of the day everybody splits you know it's like we don't want to do nothing with you Gentiles or would use other wicked ones tied to them they can't adapt and that's part of the deal you know some say oh we had a problem like I said change or perish right adapt or perish can you adapt that's the thing you see what I'm saying some say they can't. Maybe. I don't know. I can't. Like I said, I don't have a good overhead view. So, time will tell. Um, yeah, so I don't think anywhere is safe. You know, some of them think they're trying to make like a secret escape route. Where are you going to go? I'm, in case you didn't heard one of my videos, you need to check them out lately. Their own, their own scripture says that... Uh, the heavens are not clean in his sight. Um, the earth could be destroyed. The cosmos definitely could be destroyed as well as the earth. Uh, the elements, meaning the planets, the, the star systems, uh, the sun and the moon and all these other suns and moons, they're weak beggarly elements. They could be dissolved, destroyed too melted and maybe like i said that's above so below so maybe even the the heavens above are not clean that's why a lot of these angels got kicked out a couple months ago so even i'm saying even even though it's not in scripture but it does say heavens and earth could melt or just be destroyed uh, and they're trying to change it now you see to heaven and earth you see they're trying to they're not going to change they're trying they're trying to get you to manifest something that's not even true that's why they, I mean, you can't trust them. You can't, the whole system's fudged up. Like the scripture says, and I said one five, the whole head is sick, the top to bottom. So it's plural, meaning even eternal realms, wherever these beings may be. So it's not safe anywhere. You could think, quote unquote, eternal realm. So wherever these beings, whatever these beings own, everything is just subject to be destroyed. Or just maybe a huge explosion. And maybe a few of them will make it out. Don't ask me how. Or what, or maybe, uh, yeah, everything, everyone needs to come back again. I don't know. I really don't know what to tell you. Um, we certainly are worthy of that. Like, if you want to be to this great, close to this great one, maybe that's what will happen. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I think there is a Christ. There is a Christ. There is an anointed one. But will the real anointed one please stand up? So I'm calling the one. I think it might be the one or the unknowable one, something higher, you see. I just don't see how anybody could stand and watch this and not do anything, you see what I'm saying? Or allow this, you see. 
And that's why I want to take you to high vibrations where everything's more uh, ignorant. There is no sense of right or wrong and this, that, and the other. So it's like, yeah, how much do you want to risk? That's what they're telling me. Like, you're very, I mean, but I didn't, I don't even know who made me. You see what I'm saying? So I can't trip if they want to, want to undo me, you know? Um, I don't, I badly appreciate my existence, but I just don't want to be around these beings, you see? It's a, it's a blessing not to remember them. Like, they might know me, but I don't remember them. That's why everybody's jumping in different lanes. Like, I don't, they think that I want to suicide myself or not. And I just don't want you, man. You guys are not as perfect, holier than thou. Like, me and a few others like me, uh, very few, maybe a very small, maybe like a count in one hand or two. We just want to do a, a get away from some of you because you guys are stupid. You guys don't know shit about what you're doing. And you think that we're just going to be satisfied with your blessings. No, we want to, if, if there's an opportunity for me to go find a one that is just totally, you know, I don't know. I just want to be with the highest one. And maybe if I could just learn from this individual, you know, it would make my existence. But I feel like a lot of these idiots are just in the way or who knows, maybe I have to give up myself. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm not in it for the females. I'm not in it for the money. I'm not in it for the fame, for the glory. I'm down to die for it. And they, I, uh, they think you're crazy. We don't know what could happen to you, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. And they probably don't want to do that because maybe it'll affect them. So I don't know. What's the solution? Everybody wants something different. Some of them want the same thing. Uh, some of them want everything. I mean, that's why I think... Everything's set up this way because I think the last individual standing or whoever honestly has good intentions. I think, like I've been saying, I think this source, whoever this is, this entity, this being, is weeding out those that don't have good intentions or can't adapt or change. You see what I'm saying? Those that are not willing to do the right thing to stop this or figure something out. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't have a problem... You know, doing certain things that I might not like just to uh, do what's right. But at the same time, it's these entities that have a better over, over, overall view of the situation that need to come clean. They're the ones that are responsible and they're going to corrupt. So, you know, a lot of them could look in the mirror and, hey, they already know what's happening. And they're not going to tell you that, you see, because they're wicked. They're just wicked as hell, you see. And you just don't want to be like your parents, like your forefathers, you see. So I've been praying for mercy for them, uh, health, restoration, speaking, whatever it is that they need to get solved. But it seems like they just don't want to let go of their old ways. They want to dictate to you how you should. They're stuck in their old ways, you see. So it's basically, it's, turn, it's come to this, like child versus parent. Like the scripture says, your own enemies are there of your own household. That's why... I believe this thing sent uh, a little traps thinking you picked something up from who knows what and ended up being your, your demise saved with the other lanes, you see, sending out Savior and Anointed One. So that's what the debt cycle is about, pride and the stupidity of the ancients. Um, so I don't want to close it out in a, in, a, in a negative manner. I want to say this. This is like a prayer that Whatever this thing is that is sucking the life out of these ancients at the highest top would we'll give them the ability to discern what it is that they need to do and the strength to do it so that they can spare themselves, their families, and others. Because if they keep going in this way, they're provoking us to keep going in our way and nothing good is going to come about this, okay? So, you know, to whom much is given, much is required, you know. So it, it, it's not just how much knowledge uh, one has or is developing. It's just how much power and ability in that, you see. So I don't know. We don't know. Um, they want to keep us separate, so that's not helping. So I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I'm just throwing it out there. They say you can speak things into existence. I don't even know what to believe. It's not your fault, you see, because we've been lied to about so much with this duality, this darkness, this false light. And even this true light that's supposedly good light but hasn't been doing anything. So it's all fucked up. But anyways. Um, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I, at this point it's like, yes, time out, you see. 
I'm not even interested in leveling up at this point. I think it's pointless. But, you know, there's not much I could do. What else am I going to do? But just pretend. You see, pretend to, you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's all BS, man, you see. Uh, I don't know, man. I really don't know. Uh, I think some of them would rather hang themselves, commit suicide, than tell you the truth. You know, stand before an audience and, and have them tell the truth about what they've been doing and how they get down. Um, yeah, some of them are just like that. Some of them are willing to die than tell you the truth. And not to die for a good cause, but to die just to avoid, you know, a greater cause, a good cause, you see. So, they're willing to die for, for, for you know, just selfish reasons. So anyways, um, that's it. That's all I got. Um, these individuals know who they are. At the heights of the heights, cream of the crop, all the way down to the pit, as they say. So, anyways, I'm out. Um, just continuing the fate. Um, yeah, uh, when you have a safe place, a safe haven, you know, all these other idiots are going to want you to shelter them. You see what I'm saying? When their house threatens to collapse. But... They're going to have to talk to you before that happens. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I don't close my lane to people, to individuals. But it's like, you know, don't come over here and just start acting stupid. You see what I'm saying? Um, you can play for a bit, but you can't stay too long. You see, you can't you can't just keep taking stuff and, you know, just doing acting stupid. Because, like I said, you already know. That some of these are getting taxed life force, you see what I'm saying? And that's not even me, that's not my will, I don't will that. It's just how things are going on, you see? So, I think some of you need to swallow your pride, and for your sakes and the sakes of others, needs to come to sit at the table, maybe not agree to one world religion or nothing like that, no, no agreements, but discuss something, you see? Because some 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 of these are parasites, you see. We're dealing with parasites that are leeching off of humanity and themselves don't know how to help. So these are the individuals that we need that I think the the source is weeding out. So yeah. So step to the side or get stepped on. I pray for your well being, restoration. Um I'm not gonna end this on a sour note, but you know, just Hey, just figure it, figure out, pray for discernment, and figure out what what it is that you need to overcome, so that you could do your part. And and others can't say you didn't try or whatever you you know. So, anyways, I'm not shalom.